We're currently spending about a week in Vietnam's Dien Bien province, and in this video, we're going to specifically focus on the Tam Kok area. After renting a bike for the equivalency of two to three US dollars per day and GPS on the phone, it's time to start out with this area's most popular attraction, Hong Mua or Mua Cave. Get ready to climb. The main attraction, though, is the view from the top of two of the many vertical karst mountains that dot the landscape. After about three-fourths of the way to the top, we have to make a choice to either turn left and go to the top of the dragon side, or turn right to go to the top of the main pagoda side. We chose both, first going to the taller dragon side. At the top, the individual mountains surrounded by rice fields and other lakes come into focus as well as the shorter pagoda side. Some people braved the rocks to touch the dragon, while others thought it was too dangerous, including this praying mantis. The other direction shows the river below that has the popular boat tours through the caves of these karst mountains. We'll see the view from the river in a couple of minutes. The top of the pagoda side is shorter, but the views are just as good. Tomorrow, I want to go to this area. You can see the dragon from the pagoda side while waiting your turn to have the photo. This entire place is called Mua Cave because in addition to the much more famous views from the top of the mountains, there actually is a small cave at the bottom. The entire entrance area is decorated nicely. We were off to find the road below that we had seen from the top of the mountain peaks, and I'm glad we did. We got to have fun with a couple of local farmers and the local animals. And this is why they're called water buffalo. The farm scenery around here is pretty special. It was time to head back to Tancock and get ready to take the special rowboat to see the mountains from the river below. The special thing about the rowboat trips, besides the scenery, is that they row the boats with their feet. The nearly two hour trip passes through a few caves under the mountains. This is the view of the mountain peak with the dragon that we saw earlier from the top. As you might expect from Southeast Asia, 
there are many fresh tropical fruits to eat. One fruit I like most here is dragon fruit. As for me, I just couldn't stop drinking the egg coffee. Now, let's go check out little Huang Mo on this $2 per day rented bike. A rainy, foggy day just gives a whole new type of uh, character to this um, special environment. On this rainy day, we have this restaurant all to ourselves. Just rent a bike, get out of the town, and just go on uh, roads and see what kind of adventures you run into. The people are generally very laid back and welcoming, so it's just a wonderful place to just go out and explore by yourself. Today's question, What's the name of this route? If this amazing scenery of Tam Kok in Ninh Binh, Vietnam hasn't quite been enough, then we present the Dancing Grannies of Tam Kok. Thank you for watching. Up next we'll be in Hanoi and then in the mysterious country of Laos. Thank you to all of our subscribers and see you next time on World Street.